Hey, are you concerned about protecting that brand new pretty sled that you just got? Here's the solution. Use SledSyn24 for a 15% off discount code on some Backwoods Bumpers, the industry leader in performance protection. Cool. Well, Sledson listeners, welcome back to the next episode of the Sledson podcast. We are back at Morrow County Grain Growers uh, here in Lexington, Oregon, our local dealership and one of our sponsors, big advocate for the podcast. Um, we've got the go-to guy for all things Polaris. We've got Justin Bailey back on the on the show. Go-to guy, huh? Nice. Yeah. Um, we were just talking, I think you're first and your last episode was i think you were number nine on Sounds season one right. so it's been a little while since we've had yes. you on it's um, been a while. and we've got one of our athletes kobe back with us and then kobe's father we've got cliff on with us uh be sure to check out the previous episode that's the introduction to cliff <laughs> pretty good episode some good stories oh that was boy. a good time um so yeah in this episode um Snow check is currently still going on. Snow check ends March 27th. March 27th, yeah, that's correct. Yep, so we wanted to uh, kind of take this episode and talk all things uh, model year 2025. Um, Justin, you went down to Dallas for the release. I did. Got to spend um, two days down there. Nice yeah. and hot. Yeah, yep. How hot was it hot? It got 84 the first day. I think oh. 86 the next. <laughs> Talk about going you was from sweating. 30, 30 degrees here to 84, 86 degrees oh, yeah, in Dallas. I know about right? it. Yeah. We're about, that heat stroke just hit here, though. It's pretty warm yeah, today. It's, it's it's 70. It just hit here. Yeah, no kidding. I don't even know. My truck on the way here said 77, but wow, I don't know. We were 66 to 67 at home there when I left yeah. coming here. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Very sunny. It's nice to, I don't know, get some stuff done around the house, do some honeydews. I've been snowmobiling every weekend, so it was nice to stay home for a second. I'm not a fan of it necessarily, but uh, of the heat in general. But you and me both. Anyways, I don't yeah. like heat either. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be cold than my face. Still don't like my this face chair. turns red all the time. Scaring the sugar out of me. Yeah, I know. I just <laughs> did. It'll stop. I know, but I just the cylinders a panic only so long. It'll, God, it'll quit. You could probably lock it. Maybe it's a heart know. reset. Anyways. Um, so yeah, we wanted to talk about the the new sleds that just came out. Um, I was fortunate enough to spend a day riding them um, towards the end of February, and um, and Cliff, we want your perspective too. Like in the previous episode, you've snow checked almost every year since <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah, um, so you you've definitely seen um, evolutions, good and bad, um, through the years with Polaris. Um, and so we're gonna kind of touch on on your thoughts of of this year's stuff. Um, obviously it's already out and whatnot. So people kind of get the gist of stuff. Um, but I do also want to say, um, that I was talking to Jeff on the way here and Jeff and I decided to do a little, um, I don't know if we want to call it a sled sin giveaway. Um, but just kind of a give back, I guess, um, kind of promoting, you know, Morrill County grain growers and our local dealership here and all the things that they've done for us. Um, I don't know. We, how do, how should I word this? We want to give an, uh, Kobe is like, don't look at me, uh, a little bit of an incentive, um, for you guys to, you know, snow check, um, uh, through Morrow County, through Justin. Um, oh, now I know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> your, your, uh, your phone it's number like, and stuff what? is in the, in the description of the, of the episode, but, talking about. um, for you guys that want to, you know, snow check through Morrow County grain growers. Um, if you send anybody on the sled send team, um, a screenshot of, uh, like a confirmation page or something that you snow check through Morrow County, um, sled send will personally send you guys, um, a hat of your choice. So any of our hats or beanies, whichever, um, any of the hoodies and any one of our t-shirts, we'll send it out to you guys at no cost. Get um, decked out. Yeah. So just like a little sled send care package. Um, any, any, I uh, want a pair of Jeff shoes too out of his collection. Jeff shoes. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that's, that's random. Um, yep. That's part of it. 
And so, I mean, part part of that is a is a shameless plug. I mean, this is our first year being sponsored by by Morrow County, and you guys have um, bent over backwards for us this season. But uh, Justin, specifically, you have every year that I've been buying sleds prior to being sponsored. So I would say this, regardless of the sponsorship level, um, I bought. Well, I just snow checked to twenty twenty five. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be six sleds so far. Yeah, twenty five be number. Yeah, because I bought the two the two eight hundreds and then the the twenty one that I modded out, and then the nine and the boost this year. Yeah, and then a new twenty five new twenty five. What did you well. What did so, you snow check? You've already did one. Yep. What'd you get? Yep. So I did pretty much the exact same thing as my twenty four. So it's a twenty five chaos boost one fifty five, um, but the only thing I changed was I went ahead and got the three two five track. Oh, you did? Yep. But I'm going to keep mine under 50 miles an hour. <laughs> um, I recommend it. So, uh, yeah, I just, I, I want to try it out. I mean, I didn't even, which this, this season's kind of, I don't know. We've done a lot of cool stuff this season, but the snow just has not played into our favor. Um, but I, I didn't even jump on your sled at all to try the track out. I mean, you and I have the identical mm -hmm. same sled, except for the track difference. Um, but I didn't. I didn't try it out. But anyways, I just said, heck with it. I want to try it out. So because originally I did the two seven five, and then I texted you. I was right. like, hey, uh, I submitted it as a two seventy five, but let's uh, let's go Good with try. the three three two five. So, um, but yeah. So, uh, Justin, let's talk a little bit about your experience in Dallas, and then I'll talk a little bit about my experience uh, riding them, um, and then we can dive into some more details and stuff. So. Okay. So it's always pretty cool going down these uh, dealer shows down for snow show. Um, you get down there, it's a, it's a different atmosphere. Everybody's pretty tight-lipped. You're kind of waiting for the reveal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's nice sometimes to get a travel day to go down there. Yeah. Um, but you're seated for the reveal. The reveal takes about an hour. Um, and then they open up the, big, the showroom. And a description doesn't really do it justice. Okay. You have to go down to one of these shows and see how big the showroom truly is. Yeah. I mean, they've got every sled down there, every color, you name it. Um, the last three years, I think I've sent Cliff pictures of colors as soon as they hit the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember back, even go back when we had the dealership, I went to a couple of the shows. Did you? Okay. It's, uh, they put a, quite a show on, don't they? It's an experience. It is. <laughs> I mean, this is a big show. It's yeah. a, they... With the time I went, it wasn't actually, I went on a, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to script a little bit here, but I went to, I think it was on the Rangers and uh, the four-wheelers once, okay. me and Scott went, Okay. and they bring out uh, the race car, they sponsored the race car, uh, who was it, I can't remember, that they sponsored, Player sponsored him, uh, for like NASCAR? NASCAR, yes, here he comes in on the stage with the race car, oh, really? revving it up, and the thing is popping, and he gets out, and the people just roar. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And I mean, I it was like, was. wow. And they do get your attention. People yeah. are going crazy, and it, it's exciting. It really <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, pretty cool stuff that you get to go do that. Yeah, and yeah. the entertainment they bring at those, sh in the, at those shows is yep. pretty good. I mean, one of the bigger ORV shows I went to, we had Chris Young. Not Chris Young, sorry. Uh, Cole Swindell come in. Oh, yeah. Do entertainment down there. It was pretty cool. Nice. I can imagine it's pretty cool. Even their online videos are mm. pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like yeah. a fun time. Yeah. Cool experience. Yeah. When we played the one in the pickup, that was just cool watching that over the phone, listening mm -hmm. to the speakers, you know. And yeah. I guarantee in person you'd be like, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. We need to figure out how Sledson can go with you next time. All right. I like <laughs> how they. <laughs> I'm down. That'd I liked cool. how they switched. I think they switched anyways. They did mountain sleds before the trail sleds this year. Yes, they did. Yeah, I love that because I remember last year and previous year, haven't we? We've always heard that. Remember when we had COVID? COVID. We they did made us sit the through the Voyagers and then the deals and then Levi LaValle came out. Then he did all the, the remember when the, yeah. the boosts were just coming out. Yeah. So they had to do all the trail sleds. And that was the exciting deal. We had to wait until the, the last, <laughs> we had to wait the the last minute to see what the boost was. Finally, yeah. it comes out. The last 30 seconds. Yeah. 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 And they go, By boom, the way, Patriot boost. boost. Yep. And everybody Everybody's, thought it was great, yeah. and they hid that it was small warranty, and then they, yeah. Still small warranty. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they, how are, are, can you buy extended warranty for a boost? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Gotcha. 
And they're still doing the uh, they're still doing the fifteen hundred dollar. If Ship it doesn't guarantee. come in, yeah, they're yeah. still doing that again Ship this year. By November thirtieth. Okay, same date. Okay. Let's what was your favorite part about the whole snow show? I guess. Or what What are some of your favorite one. parts? Do they wine and dine you, or are you in charge of food? Besides or? all the drinking, what was your favorite part? <laughs> that was a lot of it, Glenn. Um, food's always good. It's a good time down there. They wine and um, dine you, or you go out and eat? Yeah, they wine and dine you there. Nice. We got a buffet area set up for all dealers. Good food? Yeah. You're going to meet all sorts of professional riders down there. Um, it's also a good chance to get together with other dealers. Mm -hmm. talk, talk shop, talk strategy. Yes, a little bit. Um, did you go by yourself? Or did Ralph go with you? Ralph went, he did go? Yeah, Ralph Glock, our parts manager, yep. went okay. with me this year. Um, the one thing I do like probably the best about the showroom, though, is you can go up and you can touch whatever you want to on the sled. You can pull yeah. the side panels off. You can pull the hood off to really kind of get a good look at what's new, how mm -hmm. they modified a couple things. Um, you'll see the new rail caps system on the 25s. Um, Should have never done away with that, should have they? <laughs> nope. I mean, a lot of people had issues was, throwing high facts and stuff. I did. It was a scramble yeah. trying to figure out how to fix your high facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To get them. Uh, Couldn't get them. Yeah. Backward. Yep. Um, that's the new headlight, the new throttle assembly. That's that's going to be big. They've been working on that for a oh, few, yeah. few years. I think yeah. they started in 21, I think, working on that whole new system. Yeah, another thing, too, about the reveal. I'm interested to see how this new RMK SP is really going to work out in both yep. the 650 and the 850. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got people like Cliff talking how bad prices are getting, which they yep. are, but yep. it's not sleds only. It's everything. Yeah. It's the economy we're in. Yeah. Um, this new sled should really give people a chance to get into the ground floor, get their feet wet, and mm -hmm. say, okay, then, then I'm going to jump to the boost maybe. Yeah. Um, that, that and that really screw our sled market up. It could. Well, my, the used market this year has yeah. been terrible anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I well. just hope that, you know. I mean, <clears throat> other than the fact of you're not going to get the mountain sled to it, but if somebody that just wants to get into snowmobiling, like you're saying, like, why would you buy the seventeen to $18,000 boost sled? You know, that's right. used. Why would you? Why wouldn't you just go buy a new one? So. I don't know. How many times back in the day did you have, like, modded out? So did you guys, did you see a lot of, like, oh, well, this is all we got for sleds, so you buy the hot rod sled at that time, or? Well, I've been through it quite a bit. there's so many I mean, options I've seen now. It, I've seen it both ways. I've seen this cycle before. I mean, it comes and goes. Mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, you couldn't find a sled. You're given all kinds of money for them. We had two or three really good snow years, if I remember right. Yeah. Uh, wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Uh, I can go way back when I did the other uh, deal with you guys. I was talking about uh, my original uh, Gene Orwick that mm -hmm. owned that business. Yep. I remember back then we went. He went through the same type. You know, God, what am I going to do with all these sleds? I took too many used ones. Yeah, uh, going to haul them to an auction. Going to do something or a swap meet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they clean out. I think it rotates. It, I it mean, it's stop. a little flooded right now. It's pretty. It might be tough. It's going to be a little tough. Yeah. Well, when I took over in. January of 2019 doing sales here. I mean, it, we had sleds that were five years old up still in crates that are brand new. Mm -hmm. um, it just takes time to clear them out. Like yep. Cliff was saying, every, it, it has an ebb and flow to it. Hey, what's up guys? I want to take a quick second to introduce another one of this year's sponsors. We have RSI. So the handlebar setup on your sled is arguably probably one of the most important components on your whole setup. So definitely check out their site. They've got a ton of different products and use sleds in 24 at checkout for a discount. Hopefully uh, if time kind of this year was not great, I think the whole country knows it, Yeah. but we could have a great one next year and it could revolve the whole cycle again. Yeah. Flush it. Yeah. Let's hope it does. Yeah. You don't <laughs> want two or three bad ones in a row. That's where, then that's ugly. Yeah. Yeah, it gets really bad. That's where players need to help. Yeah. <laughs> I guess is how you'd say that. I don't know if yeah. they do. Yeah. But well, they're at the show. That's a tough one. They're, they're at the show, too. They came out and told us dealers, hey, we're going to back off on the amount of inventory we push on you, which. That'd be good. It's the first time I've ever seen that happen. At least they said it anyway, I suppose. Uh, order number's lower than it was. So yeah. So I'll take what I can get. Yeah. Um, no, but the other big takeaway from the show Jump back to that. Yeah. These 25s are seven pounds lighter. Mm-hmm. It's significant yep. 
amount to take off these new mountain sleds. Yep. So. Seven pounds lighter without sacrificing any durability. Right. Some some items are even stronger. It's some are lighter but stronger. Yep. Like the did they say the where well. they're where they're bringing the light? Yeah. Where's the lightness? Is it the hood? Uh, the hoods are heavy. It's actually out of the footwell, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, yeah. So the the headlight was it's saving two pounds there, yep. which obviously that's a huge chunk out of the seven. Um, the the drive shaft mm-hmm. is now steel, so that saved a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit. But it, it's stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, lightweight. The lightweight running boards. <laughs> like having a kid on the show. What? A little spider oh, there crawling oh. across the floor. Don't put it next to me. I don't like those things. <laughs> Stop, <Girls>. dude. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what'd you say about uh, you? What'd you say about the drive shaft? Oh, just that it's it's steel um, and it's lighter and stronger. Uh, lightweight running boards. They've got uh, the lightweight seat now. It's also an inch lower as well. Yeah, yeah. Quite a few updates and changes as we're looking at a twenty-one. I don't know <laughs> yeah. why we keep looking back. And, there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. These twenty-fives are <laughs> sick. Yeah. Look at this thing. <laughs> You guys that are listening, you guys should see this thing. <clears throat> but, yeah, I think I, I, I think I was most stoked on the, um, the new whole new throttle body. Yeah, um, new flipper, new coated, new cable, new, and now it's coated. Because um, mm-hmm. I mean, we all know Polaris cruise control, right? Like all my sleds, I would, I would get an aftermarket throttle block, right? Um, so that I didn't have the snow and the ice and stuff build up, and so it's nice that I mean that's. One less aftermarket part I have to buy now, I guess, which is nice. Look like their colors got a little bit better, I think. You're just happy you got a red back. Well, now that, you got to make me snow check one, though. That that red and gray I'll with the that. black looks really, really yeah, good. Yeah, they kind of got us bad last year on the red, if you're a red fan. A lot of people like red. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a pretty... <laughs> yeah, that's Bailey. A lot of people like red. I got a lot of control on that one. Uh, well, I, I think it's... I mean, I, maybe I don't even really know... But um, it's interesting how they split the pro and the chaos colors. Yeah, because I think there was ridiculous. a couple that were they red awesome that you really year. liked, but they were a pro. But I couldn't, couldn't get, get in that a boost. I couldn't get in a boost last year. In a yeah, no, it was in a chaos. Chaos. Yeah, yeah. You could get them, but you just had to either have a pro or a chaos. The colors vary between pro and chaos right. yeah. tremendously. But every single red accessory we could last year on the black sled, <laughs> which I think is every one of them. Uh-huh. I think it's kind of you know unreal that uh you're we're paying twenty two thousand dollars for a sled and we can't customize the freaking colors on them i mean you'd, you'd think well, that you'd you at least be able to like switch how far the, you can go you'd think you'd at least be able to switch like the sticker way or the whatever all it's saying is pro and chaos versus it you know right maybe someday yeah. also just that does take time in the production process too true but like what about like the rails and stuff I guess like different colored rails. How come you can't have like red rails just, on the one? Not just four or five choices. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. when you get like the black and white, it's like, oh, you don't get bright blue or bright orange. You only get gray, black, or the one color. But maybe sometime. Yeah. In time. Well, you do kind of remember too, though. We're looking at just a very few sleds because that's what we're riding. Right. And they have how many? Jesus, what's their lineup of sleds? 30 different brands or some, or not it's a, brands, it's a lot. but 30 different models. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. So how models you, and sub models. That's a, that's crazy yeah. to have, have to produce all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot. There's we're a lot we're of more of the mountain guys over here. I was going to say that you get in the flatlanders and you got a whole nother market yeah. and you got your work, you got your work use market. Yep. Yeah. It was nice that they trimmed a little bit of fat off the name. Right. Meaning now all the nines and the boosts, are automatically slash are automatically slash so you no longer have to say <laughs> this 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 slash or yeah. slash you know so <laughs> it's one less word that you have to say when you're rambling it off yeah yeah but yeah so um i'll touch a little bit on on getting to write them um i spent a day with the ambassador group um getting to write them so there was they had um they had 20 of us ambassadors and there was like uh 10 for the trail stuff and then 10 for the mountain stuff and so um started off the day like obviously they had all of the sleds lined up and they took us through um so nels the guy that does like their 
um, the sled tech videos for players. Um, he took us through every single sled and walked us through all the updates and whatnot and stuff. So, um, but obviously I was in the mountain segment, so I didn't get to spend any time riding the trail stuff. Um, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> which is fine. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we just, we jumped on the sleds and took off for the day. Um, and we just rotated. I mean, they had pretty much all different variations of, of the mountain stuff. Um, and we just hopped around on different sleds and, Whatever, so I wrote a variety of... Do you have a favorite ones. over the day, or...? Um, I spent I spent a decent amount of time on a one... No, it was a 155. Um, yeah, I guess the only difference was a... So, I yeah, I spent... Most of my time was on a, on a 155 Chaos Boost. Um, yeah, that was the majority of the time. Um, but it, it was cool to, I mean, the whole experience overall, I, I won't get too much into it, but it was, uh, it was a pretty cool experience, um, to be a part of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was, uh, I was pretty impressed with the long list of updates. Like there was a lot of talk and rumors of like, uh, nine R boost and, and whatnot and stuff. Like, obviously there wasn't anything crazy like that. Um, but it was really, really cool to, and I said this while I was there, like, there was a lot of things that they made changes to or provided solutions for that people have expressed have been an issue for some time. So it was cool to see, you know, Polaris is, and I was, I was talking to one of the engineers while I was there too. Like they are very much tuned in with yes. feedback from customers, um, good and bad. Um, and so it was, it was really cool to, you know, I mean, through the podcast and the amount of people that we talked to, um, problems arise and you get to talking about it and stuff. And so it was cool that there were so many of those problems that were solved, um, on, on 25, um, the rail caps and the throttle. And there was, you know, a lot of things that they P22 provided solutions clutch. to. Yeah. The clutch that was P22 clutch is getting a pretty big overhaul. Yeah. Was there anything, I know they've had some electrical problems, you know, mm -hmm. was there anything more updates? Supposedly there was updates yeah, there some was some harness up. Kind of had the same stuff, problem again, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it up here. I'm kind of back to the show a little bit, too. One, I didn't mention this, but one of the cool things about going to these shows, the engineers are on the floor, and they're right by these new sleds that you can sit there and you can take and ask them any question you can think of. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a customer I was down there was having problems with his clutch bolt broke on his 9R. Mm -hmm. So I went down to the engineers, like, okay, I need the newest 25 part number that you've got. Cause I'm not putting another one of these bad bolts in this thing. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, give me two minutes and looked it up. Is it here? Here's your part number. Go order it. Nice. Like it, was, it was pretty exceptional. Pretty sweet. To go down and do that. Yeah. That's awesome. They just help you out like that on the floor. Yeah. Uh, so one of, one of the things regarding wire stuff um, on the Patriot boost, the new auxiliary injector harness, so updated and improved injector potting and premium uh, premium wire, improved reliability, uh, available in service winter of 23-24. Which we also got a team tip at the dealership too to be looking out for auxiliary and stuff like that, so. Is that wiring thing, you think, part of the, kind of part of our fuel pump issues, too, going, isn't that part of it? Could be. Possibly. I don't know for sure. I'm not going to. Because that's definitely been. Because that's been an issue it with is. the wiring and the fuel pump deal is really the only, it's well. Something's up there. So. They're also. Just uh, curious on that. Different spark plugs going forward, too. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully that'll help some of these guys who are fouling plugs left and right. Yeah. I see they put a little hotter plug in them. Yeah. Which guys, yeah. you can... Hotter, you know, hotter heat range that. for more consistent performance and yep. resistance to fouling. And for those guys running the 7S display, they there's a stronger five-position switch in there. Mm-hmm. So toggle switch, so that yep. should be nice. I've seen quite a few of those broke off coming in here. It sounds like they're uh, going to start offering those as a, an accessory as well, 7Ss. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think they're like sixteen hundred. I think. Like but I mean, probably. they they had. Uh, I don't know if it's related to COVID stuff, but just inventory issues and whatnot. They couldn't yeah. offer it as an accessory. 
last that they year, will this year. Last year at the show, they actually let us order one additional screen. Oh, they and did? install kit to put it in another sled. Okay. Well, I will say after riding with those with a group, pretty slick little deal. The 7S? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, saves a lot of time hunting for people. Just awareness of knowing where everybody's at. That's pretty nice. Pretty dang nice to have those. Yes. And the mapping. Handy. I mean, we ran into some fog, you know, that couple times, and we mapped our way in there, and by gosh, we had to go back out the same way. Couldn't see mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. So it's neat that you have it. I mean, I've seen it for a long time without them, and you battle it. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah. almost think it could be mandatory on sleds almost. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know how many they're putting on now. Yeah. I think all Boost have them. I think right? Boost, yeah. The SP boost probably doesn't come with it. No, no you can get it as an accessory. Yeah. On it. Probably. Um, but, yeah, the Boost, I'm pretty sure the Boost have to have the 7S. Yeah. Well, and I'm saying uh, probably some places you won't need it, but, like, we're going in the back country and stuff with those sleds. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're handy. And they, they came out with the, the update <clears> for it <throat> so that you can you can be on your map, mm-hmm. but in the bottom left and the bottom right, you can custom pick yeah. what you want to mm-hmm. see. So you don't have to switch different gauges. So we did can, that on mine. That's, yeah, that's yep. really good. Yeah. Because you still have it. Before, you couldn't do that, so you had to go back and forth. Mm-hmm. I, mean, my, I think by 22, I couldn't do that. Yeah. Well, we tried on Scott's, and we couldn't get it. To yeah, it. Scott's, and then... Because uh, um, I think his we would have to plug into it, I think. Mm-hmm. Because some of them you had to plug in, some of them just kind of had it. Right. I remember we had that right. that little chat. But it was nice because, I mean, um, like you always have your, your temperature real small in the bottom left. Um, but it was nice, like, if you were kind of going slower and you wanted to still be able to see people on the map, you could still see in big your, your temperature in an area where you were concerned about it. It was a lot easier to be able yeah. to see it. So I run the, the temperature and then uh, RPMs, but it's all right there on the, on the map screen, which is nice. That's what it's I so end up nice. doing and just running my map all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah Cause you can see those other So two. nice for navigating, mm-hmm. keeping track of people. Yeah. Well, it's then a matter of time until all the sleds can hopefully track each other. I hope. Yep. Yeah. I. Yeah. Because we spent a lot of time looking for. <laughs> you guys said they when you rode up there in Wyoming, you couldn't match up with the ski dudes. Is that right? No, you can't. No, they they're not compatible. But do they have their own deal? They have um, a map. I think. Yeah. I think on the twenty fives. I think they. I think ski dude has a map. I don't know. Do you, it's odd that they don't hook. Well, they have together. they have a map. I just I don't know if they have the what do they call it the rider connect or something ride command yeah. ride. type deal. Group ride, so you, yeah, yeah the group ride, ride demand. What is that called? Ride command. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Also group ride. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I. I would hope that it is. Um, in the works to be able to have, regardless of OEM. I mean, because it's a safety thing, it is right? A safety thing. Um, so regardless of what, you know, brand of sled you're on, you need to be able to. I mean, you can buy the. What's your dad have? It's the Voyager Pro, the Trail Tech Voyager Pro. Um, that he has on his 19 axis and he can link to the seven S's and we can see him, um, yeah. you know, so, I mean, a skidoo guy c- could get that if he wanted to, to be able to, to see it? us. But yeah, there was, but. there was a couple of times when we were in Wyoming and we had a couple of skidoos with us and we got lost. We lost Gabe there for yeah, a that's while. What he, that's what he was talking it was, about. It was almost like one of those things of like, dude, what, you know, we need to be able this. you know, you get so dependent on being able to see people and then you, or in yeah. a situation where you can't, so you I'd don't have it. Like it's starting to be like having your phone in the city. <laughs> you ever been in the city, you know, and then have your phone die when you're navigating to the airport or something. Oh, it's yeah. like you just absolutely break down panic because as soon yep. as that little phone GPS goes off, people can't hardly find their way off the freeway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Kobe and, and Cliff, what was uh, – your guys' kind of thoughts and around the release and some of the upgrades and changes that Polaris made this year? Uh, I'm hoping some of the the main ones are the, the electrical ones and fuel pump issues. Mm-hmm. You know, everything else seems like uh, it's it's little stuff make it better. Didn't have a lot of issues with it, but they did yeah. have a couple. Of the A lot of guys in our area had a lot of troubles with a few of those. Uh, I'm going to say fuel pump, electrical yeah. problems yeah uh, the rest of them you know yeah the caps and stuff were kind of an issue bought updated deal fixed it yeah uh, that kind of stuff's all right electrical stuff and that 
you're up a crick. You yep. can't fix it yourself. You got to put it on computer. Yep. Uh, manually stuff, you know, if you break it, you can fix it. That stuff, yep. it's got to go back to the dealer. So hopefully they get some of that straightened out. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like they're, I mean, I'm sure they, they're working on it. Yeah, aware of it. Yep. For sure. I think all good things. I don't think that players is going to really, at this point in the game, I don't think that anybody's going to make a fault really anymore. I don't know. There's just so much testing that goes into all the sleds. I don't think that anything that they're going to add to them is going to be bad. So I'm excited for the lighter headlight. I hope that makes a difference. Mm. It's supposed to be more wider too, mm -hmm. like the path of the light versus yeah. like straight for trail. It's and supposed it, to be a lot wider. And it's wider. still LED. Yeah. Mm -hmm. halogen, so. So that um, that'll be pretty cool. The throttle block that's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, just like you know, every you can keep going on and on. The lower seat's going to help a little yeah. bit. The running board's going to help a little bit. All that type of stuff. Decent colors. Mm -hmm. Need to bring back my blue and lime squeeze, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. all right wrap it anyway well, you guys wrap them so with your wrap so that's i yeah, guess exactly not a huge huge thing yeah nope um, um that's basically it just uh hope these updates get them back to where we don't have to come back to the shop yeah quite as much yeah you're always going to have some problems you got sure. too much stuff out there but like yeah. anything yep but i've been really lucky with mine but we have been too the next guy can't we, we have were. trouble so yeah oh. so are you gonna snow check one or yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Always thinking about it. Yeah, would like to. What would you, what would you do? Same exact thing that I got. That's why it's kind of hard to snow check one. But yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna have to sell what I have and rebuild. Well, it kind of depends exactly if you got a, if you got a market for the ones we're riding and do it. Yeah, I don't want to collect too many of them. So yeah, I would probably just sell mine and then buy a new boost if if I do it. Don't know what color or anything, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably won't get away from the boost anymore. Yeah. I don't even know if I'll ride a 146. That's not boosted. I don't really like that 9R that much. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I've always, I've never really been a huge fan. I'm just a boost fan. Though. Well, once yeah. you get used to that power, yeah. you can't Butter. not beat the turbo. Yeah, it's I pretty mean. nice. Yeah. And overall, they, they, the running part of those, they they run good. Just yeah. hauls butt up they the mountain, just, man. Carry so much speed. A little hard on your hand. Roller yeah. pulls on my hands Boost a little blisters. hard. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tyler with Sled Send. Wanted to take a second of your guys' time and ask for your guys' support for what we're doing with the brand of Sled Send. So, if you guys are enjoying, you know, the podcast episodes with all the different guests, the tour videos, and such, check out uh, SledSend.com. We have a variety of different merch. Every order comes with air fresheners and stickers. And like I said, we appreciate your guys' support. We need it to continue to do this. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I got a question for the dealership. Might yeah. help out a little bit. I'm just going to throw this in there. Uh, I know here they had a few, you know, you had your main mechanic kind of go down. Yeah. Uh, I'm just to help you guys out a little bit. I know there's some guys a little disgusted. It wasn't your guys' fault. Uh, the main Polaris guy slipped, fell, got hurt, got behind. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the other, the other guy was had his hands full. Yeah, we've been, uh, we've been one guy for the last three weeks. Yeah, hopefully, just put they, it out there. People are listening. That. I mean, I hope they don't get too discouraged because I know there were some guys had to take them to different dealers. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that doesn't wound you to death. I guess yeah. on that. Yeah. So Agreed. and you can keep some business. You know, keep 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 the business coming. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. I always try to push it. It's local. Same. Well, I've found myself in there starting to work on some sleds now. Well, so anybody's a Stoneville mechanic looking for a job. <laughs> Imagine they're there hiring. you go. Agreed. Give me a call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His number's in the description below. <laughs> well, and I talked to some of your management. They're, I mean, they got some stuff in the works here if it ever goes. Maybe a little bigger shop, a little bigger bays. Uh, we need it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, between all the all the departments of the players and your guys' ag stuff, it's, uh, they've kind of outgrowed this uh it's a big old shop, but they've outgrown it a little bit. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's easy to do with the size of these tractors that are back there. Yes. <laughs> yes. And all the equipment's getting bigger. Yeah. Well, that and sleds too. I mean. Oh yeah. You know. 
You used to have little 121 tracks oh, around here. Now you got 163s. Yeah. Yeah. You got to try to track and Takes store. a little more room. Yeah. And then being all electric, electronic stuff, too. I mean, like, that kind of comes back to where your dealer has to help you out on that stuff. Yeah. Well, it gets to well, the point where as a dealer, the first thing you do when a sled comes in is, okay, let's hook it up to the computer. You got to. Yeah. 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 There ain't not, it's no different than buying a new pickup or something like that nowadays. You look, open it up and go, oh, take it to the dealership. Yeah. Yep. Computer. So, but that's the mercy of what we got. That's, we've graduated into that. Uh, that's our future, right? Yep. It's only going to get more. So hopefully, uh, hopefully John gets back, uh, gets rolling. Yeah, I talked to him a couple times this last week. He's getting better. Yeah, I'm still stiff, so. and sore, which I can't blame him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, but hopefully for next year, you know, we got some things. Maybe I don't know. Hopefully, yeah. you want to come back to work? <laughs> Not really. Got enough stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> Offer stands. I know. <laughs> I help yeah. out as much as I can. Yeah. Jeff, you got anything being observant back there? Any topics? Jeff, I never got to ride with you. What did you, what, did you ride the demo? Yeah. I was riding the other night. Okay. Yeah. 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 I liked it. He loved it until he got on my boost. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That happens a little bit. (laughs) Something about that power, you just. (laughs) The the only reason why you did want yours back is because yours has the finger throttle on it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like not much of a thumb guy anymore huh cool yeah, i just don't have the muscle memory of using the thumb all the time yeah so i tried out the finger throttle and i liked it it's a mm. easy switch for me so, yeah. Easy. Mm. somebody that's rode for 20 years though, right? mm. yeah. Right. yeah yeah so you had you haven't rode you had not rode rode very long couple years three this years this is his four years? fourth season i probably got like 30 rides under my belt okay So you come in, you come into it a little, yeah. yeah. You didn't grow, you didn't grow. Oh well. And these things are like riding dirt bikes a little bit now, the way their design are. Yeah. To me, compared to the old old sleds. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I explain to people nowadays. I said you set up on them, don't hurt your back. Yeah. Uh, well, he knows. You, you spent a little bit of time on one of your dad's mountain maxes, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you know how it is then. Yeah. The old style. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, a rough couch. Yeah, they were always hard on the backs. Yeah, so. where yeah. uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's already been out and whatnot, so there's we don't need to go too deep in it. But well, thank you guys. You've been you've been pretty good to work with so far this year. So. Oh, likewise, it's been a pleasure always. Yep. Absolutely, keep it going. Yep. We where do you, to. where do you guys see the snowmobile industry going? That's a this question gets that this we, gets brought up a lot. Question that we ask it, everybody. This, yeah, this gets brought up a lot on the podcast to different guests really? and stuff. And it, oh yeah, all the time. I ask Cliff from time to time. It's I don't know so, if I've ever asked Justin, you know, face to face about it. So you guys think on that? Well, my view of it is is uh, I've seen a lot of it. I've seen it. They they cost a lot of money, but then you go like some of our local areas. It's kind of gotten a little smaller. But then we go to McCall. I never seen so many snowmobiles up there, and I mean, people are still doing it yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I suppose a lot of those people doing the tours or whatever, the rental sleds. Yeah, you if those people come, up, if some of those yeah. people come back and buy their own sleds, uh, you know, that's a big area. It's well known for it, uh, yeah. but it's there's still a lot of them out there. Yeah, they're producing a, a well, lot. How many years have you been snowmobiling? Has anything ever really gone backwards? Uh, no, it's just going to go up. Yeah. There probably does so what do you so, think it's going to i, well, I know. know it's going up too i don't know where it's you going. just full circled yourself there well i don't know i don't know where it's going it's gonna keep going that's what i think every time i wonder what's what possibly could come new i'm surprised every time yeah and i've said that for a long time how I what are they gonna do it. next to make it better and yeah. all of a sudden well yeah that's better yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, it happens every time. Like you've said, you you get on this brand new 2024 Chaos Boost 165 yeah. yep. and you're riding it through this, up this bowl in, in McCall and you're in your head like you just can't top this. You can't, especially somebody like you that has ridden so many different yeah, sleds for such no a long period of time, right? right? And then, um, you know, two, three years from now, like, I mean, obviously the 25s didn't have a crazy 
you know, right. new chassis or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, there might be in the next couple of years here. Oh, yeah. Soon. It, well, it seems like every, what, like five years or so yeah. they change? Well, it was 22. Yeah. They came out with the Matrix. The Matrix. Yep. And I think there was an, quite a bit of improvement over the other. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what they're going to do next, but I'm sure it will be something. Mm-hmm. Well, this is like my thought of things. Is that I, I think... How do you, where's there a point where, like, can they really get that much better? And I know what you're saying, but, like, if you look at it, like, yeah, okay, you thought the vertical escapes were the bee's knees, but the vertical escape couldn't do anything close to what these sleds are doing. Well, I understand that. Sledding now is so much different. Hold on. (laughs) It's so much different. Like, sooner or later, literally, Caleb Kersturki is, like, and these guys are, they're defying like forms of gravity with these sleds, you know? So I'm like, where, where, you, where are they going to get that much better? If you're already flipping them off the tops of mountains, you're already jumping them. You're already riding them on the tails, the whole length of the mountain. You can already whip them. You can already do all that. I'm like, what, what, what? Like other than hovering or something <laughs> that crazy. That might be next. Flying. Maybe, dude. You know what I mean? In some kind of like capsule that the, guarantees you don't get what stuck. What I'm saying and is, is like in your you've seen in evolution t-shirt. from a sled that can't go anywhere in four feet to this thing can literally climb a mountain with four feet of snow, go to the top, turn it around on the top, jump around off a boulder, then turn around and huck it, you know, 120, 200 feet off it if you need to, and then go down and backflip it. Well, and I understand that, and, and there's no, that mountain, it, we're already at the top. That's what I'm it's saying. It's not like, growing, so how, how, we're, we're there. That's yeah. where I'm at. Besides just the fine-tuning, it's probably going to stay saying. in this area, yes. That's what I'm saying. Like You you can't test any higher, really, unless yeah. they go to Everest. The hell's it? Yeah, I was going to say, what the hell is that big mountain, Everest? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, other than I'm maybe climbing rocks or different i don't well, know like no, what are they gonna get probably into? they'll change the looks or the view of them or i mean you're just you're something. just gonna yep. I, I think they're gonna push the envelope as far as they can on horsepower and lightweight yeah i mean they're just gonna take yep. that you know i mean it's been brought up like you know full carbon fiber tunnels or you know all this you know how how far can you take the power and the lightweight right. thing because we know that that's all weight, that's our most important stuff, right? Ratio. Power and weight and power to weight ratio that's and rotating the, mass and all that kind ticket. of stuff, right? right? We know that that's the ticket. That's the key, right? So they're gonna just going to keep pushing that as far as they possibly can. And I mean, obviously, Polaris being at the forefront of the lightweight stuff, I feel that they've probably pushed that and things have broken and they've had to change and pivot and whatever, right? So like, I think you're going to continue to see that evolution of that. Um, right. Well, you know, they got a little bit. Uh, be some really expensive bastards. They went back and actually, I think a little bit. They got really, really light. Things started kind of breaking. They've actually came back. I think like the ones we're riding right now are actually, of course, a boost is a little heavier. Yeah, yeah. So they've kind of moved back on that. So because there's kind of a limit to go to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when everybody was punching knees through the plastics and different things like that. I think they kind of realized, eh, I think we're shaving them a little too thin. You got to toughen them up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Shaving them a little too thin. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be interesting. It is to see. I mean, it's, it's always my favorite question, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting. It's so, it's so cool to see, you know, obviously I don't have the timeline as, as you, but it's so and it, I mean, obviously I'm super biased because we all are because of how much we love this sport, but it's just, it's so, so sick. Like what these sleds are capable of <laughs> yeah. right now. Right. Like, well, you guys just, are young. There's a lot ahead. Of, there's a lot ahead of you. Right. Yeah. I don't know. That's an interesting concept to think about for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's cool. What do you think they're going to? Electric hovercraft. Well, electric will be. There was, there was no cabs on them. They gonna put enclosed cabs on these babies or what? <laughs> roll cages. Well, so that's what there, the Rangers with tracks are. I yeah. guess that's where that's at. Yeah. There was an ORB show went to last year. I think it may have been the one in Nashville, where they have their prototypes in the back. There was an electric snowmobile prototype. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about. I've heard about it's the. It's not a yeah. matter of if they're gonna do it. It's yeah. a matter of oh, when. when. Yeah, they're coming. Oh yeah, sure. I'm sure. I mean, because a lot of people can charge a snowmobile to cabin. You know. Yeah. We'll find a way. Well, well I know be, they will. 
They will, but as of right yeah. now, just like the car, they're heavy because of the the the, the, right. the Battery package. Power. They just can't. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It's a fun mm-hmm. game to play, that's for sure. Everything's got its purpose. Mm-hmm. Points use. Yep. Yep. Well, cool. What are we sitting at on time? Fifty already. Well, yeah. oh, that, that went by faster than the first one. I feel ramble. <laughs> Cool. Well, uh, I think we can go ahead and begin to wrap this episode up. Was there um, any points you guys wanted to touch on for anything? Snow checks done March twenty seventh. Okay. So. Yep. Is there Get any your order in, Kobe? <laughs> I'll work on it. <laughs> Is there any snow check only? So like you can only get them snow checking them or. Uh, yeah, so Limit there's not on very many stock. I don't know if you're gonna really find stock boost or nine R. Okay, very much. That's what I was wondering. Um, the three and a quarter track, you're still gonna only snow check. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a better deal on snow check. You get your warranty. You get, you'll get your two year. You do. Boost. Yes, I understand that. But then um, if you, you know, and then if the market's flooded though, and they're dumping sleds for, you know where that goes. Oh, that's a chance you take. That's you a chance you take. With me yet. That's a take. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Um, Do you have anything? Yeah. I uh, just want to basically wrap up my Snowville season um, for the year. I headed back to California in the morning, so 11 hour drive. I want to say thanks to all the badass sponsors that we're lucky to work with. Um, there's some people out there that we've gotten really close with yep. have brought us into their homes, personal life. You know, we've been play was in the kitchen with their kids, you know, and all this th- stuff. Um, we've roomed with different guys. I've been in the cabin with different, different, uh, people, you know, that we work with. And it's just really cool to be able to work with all those companies, um, rep everything that they pour their heart and soul into. Um, I try to you know, tear everything that I can up of, of their products and mm-hmm. they withstand it. So that's awesome that we can work with companies like that. Yep. Um, super cool, uh, to work with you guys, obviously. Thanks to Jeff for putting up with me. Um, he does killer work on the podcast. Yep. Super cool season. What is this one? Three or four? Uh, I think this is three. Yeah. Season this is three. Season, yeah, season three of the podcast. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Pretty cool wrapping that up. Thank you for all your hard work, Jeff. It's killer. You, it's always killer hanging out. Um, you're getting things done, man. You're yeah. growing this. It's awesome. So yeah. always here to uh, back you guys, support you guys and everything. It wouldn't Sad happen that I'm without leaving, the team. But I'll yeah. be there in spirit. You yeah. guys keep tearing it up. And uh, Justin, thank you for everything dealership right. everything's awesome my sled this year has been phenomenal Good. it's i have no complaints with you guys anytime i come into this shop everybody drops our tools you drop everything help me so parts guys c- counter uncle <laughs> <laughs> love him yep. and uh so no super good place to buy sleds from i couldn't ask for a better experience to you know come come home from work I'm working with my dad all the time. He helps me. With my helper's so. leaving me here in about one day. Yep. So yeah, huh? I, I want to thank Kobe for coming back. He's been helping me feed cows. We went through a pretty little rough cold spell. Yeah, negatives. We had a lot of calves in the Hot shop box. and in our heat box. So a lot of froze ears. This it year. was good that he was here, but he still got to go a lot of snowmobile trips with you guys. So yep. Uh, yep. hopefully next year, uh, Pray for snow yeah. right? <laughs> and a little uh, better, longer season. Yep. This one's going to yeah. get wiped out here a little bit quick, I'm afraid. Yep. So, yeah, unfortunately. unfortunately. Yep. That's how yep. it's looking up. But, yeah, thanks to everybody for a killer season. Yep. All the people that hosted us, the yep. lodges, the phenomenal places we've eaten and stayed at, and all yeah, the hospitality been, is awesome. Minus the lack of snow, I mean, it's, it's probably been – you know, my favorite season. We checked the best a lot season of, yet. They always get better. Yep. <laughs> We've checked a lot of boxes um, as far as locations and people and experiences altogether. I mean, not too crazy blow or pow, but um, the overall season has been. You sure found it, though. One for the books, for sure. So, um, and yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really want to touch on it too much just because 
I, I'm not going to cry, but you know, it sucks. Yeah, it's you know, a tough you're, subject. You're, you're such a important part um, to the four piece of the team, um, and you mean a lot to me from a business standpoint. You mean a lot to me um, personally as well. Um, and it sucks to to see you go, but it's also cool at the same time that you know you did get the time that you have. Um, yeah, super sick. You know, you got to play not too much of a role in the build process. We had most of ours done by the time you got here, but you and I spent quite a bit of time building yeah. yours at Shea shop and stuff. And then obviously all the writing and whatnot, um, the filming. And yeah. I mean, it's in all the podcast episodes and it's a really big year this year. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, no, I mean, you're, you are uh sleds and, you know, I can say it to all three of you sleds and wouldn't be what it is if you weren't a part of it. You know what I mean? So, 100%. um, I was telling Jeff that, uh, probably one of my favorite attributes about you as far as like on the business front of Sledsend is uh, I think that you're probably our, our best like networking tool. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we go, every single time, anytime I've been with you on a trip, I mean, you've brought at each place, at least like in person, like five or six people to Sledsend to the discounts, the sponsors to listen to the, the podcast yep. and whatnot. Um, it's it's a double edged sword. I mean, you know, it's it's really good because you talk a lot and you share the message, and it's really bad because sometimes you don't you shut up. To listen but. to it, and, to, and, and the thing is, though, is like you got to listen to it every single like weekend. You know, it's yeah. like not that it's my sales pitch, but it's just like you know, we kind of do gotta plug ourselves yep. a little bit, and yep. I like to do it a lot. Yep. And every weekend when I find somebody, I'm like, hey, stick it out there, you know. Yep. Stick yeah. your neck out yeah, there and Im- see what happens. It's important. It's what, you know, we do the same thing for Justin all the time. I don't I don't know how many, but Dad sure sells a lot of sleds for, you know, a lot of, a lot of his people. He's always advocating for grain growers. He's probably their number one best salesman, mm-hmm. you know. So. Yep, absolutely. Just advocate for the people that. Well, you're the not not what I mean. <laughs> I was just about to I was just about to give him some light, but then he's now he's hating on me. Yeah. I was just about to say, you know, you got to stick up for the people that uh, scratch your back every once in a while. So, yep. yep, absolutely, absolutely. Are you coming back at all this summer? Or yeah, I'm sure. I got some weddings and stuff. I, I'm probably gonna have to try to make. So okay. Well, I don't really want to wait until heydays to see you again, but yeah. if I have to, I have to. No, either. I'll fly back. I'll fly back for a weekend or two here and there. So I'll be back, but I, it it'll be a really busy season. It'll be my busiest yet down there. Yeah. So biggest season for sure. Yeah. I think every season from here on out for the, my career will probably be my biggest and hardest yet. So. Yep, year the two. Of it. Just stay alive and <laughs> yeah, hope so. make money while I'm at it. Yeah. You know, keep 100%. the farmers happy. Cool. Well, do we, uh, Justin? Do you have a, a question that you want to ask the listeners and viewers? <laughs> you had to have known it was coming. I did. I <laughs> you I get to do it now because I got me on the last one. So <laughs> there you go. Honestly, about the only thing I got sent around: snow check. Yeah. Um, the last th- two, three years. When are you going to call me to snow check? <laughs> yeah, <there laughs> That's his question. I'm going to hit you before you leave. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> no. Uh, so ever since the chaos came out, sales have gradually increased for the chaos. Mm-hmm. Pro has fallen off the backside a little bit. You still got some people who will always go pro RMK. Some people like Cliff who pretty much can be chaos the rest of his life, I think. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> I just want to hear why from people. Why you like the pro? Why you like the chaos? Yep. I've heard. I think I've about heard it all. But you know who you're m- probably going to get to switch though. <laughs> Is I think Tate. I think yeah. if he snow checks another one, he's going to do a nine R pro one fifty five. Yeah, and that one actually surprised me pretty good. I see it though, and I understand what he's saying because I always was telling everybody, you know, the only complaint that I would have about my chaos, which it's not bad, but when it gets on its tail. It does this. It really fishtails. Like when you're going up over a hill, like a big rolling deal, it's normally not just like pull, pull, pull. It's more like, oh, 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 here we go. Oh, and again, you know, and then up and around and down and all over the place. And like Tate said, he goes, actually with that pro, he goes, the son of a gun just kind of stays right there. He goes, but with the 155, he goes, if I need, he was bringing that thing up over all day. Yeah, he was. He'd never done as many bow ties or 180, you know, flip what it re-entries that you call them. And 
he'd never done any of that. And then that day he was just like crushing it. And he's like, I love this sled. Holy crap. This yeah. thing's so much better than, I don't know why. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if he's buying that one or if he's snow checking one, but he's, he's going to get one of those. I think with the pro is what he told me. Yeah. Sweet. He just said, he's like, I feel so much better on this pro. Everything's smoother. I'm like, well, there you go. There's a there's a pro guy from he went yeah. to chaos. Didn't really. Well, care they're actually for it. getting them ironed down a little bit too. I'm thinking because if you actually look at some of the specs, the pro and the chaos, there's there's not. They're, they're closer than they used to be. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's they the same kind of chummed them back same in there. Real profile. Yeah. Yeah. Only, yeah. only difference is the shock and the limiter strap. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The front. So there's shock. yeah. Some of the stuff that was different on the first ones is not they've. That basically is like the pro, right. just with the other. So, yeah. Yep. Oh, once you got away from the axis body, it seemed to, mm-hmm. it wasn't yep. quite as different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Thank you All guys right. for being here, being a part of this episode, and um, thank you for having me thank on. You. Yeah, of course. Pleasure as always. So. Of course. Yeah, it was a, it was a good episode. Um, all right, we'll wrap and it that's up. That's your second oh. year in a row, first snow check spot. Just so you know. What's that? That's your second year in a row getting my first snow check spot. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good stuff. Let's keep nice. it coming. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You go, well, let's I think keep I'd, it coming. I texted you when you were still in Dallas. I know. So, with with what I wanted. So, well, good stuff. Cool. Sledson listeners, thank you guys for tuning in on this episode. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you guys next season. <laughs>